1981 Gorpanim Festival, many GBC members again seek Sridhar Maharaja's guidance and darshan. Many ISKCON leaders take Sridhar Maharaja's darshan while they are in Mayapur for the GBC meetings and festival. February 26, Tamal Krishna tells Sridhar, uh, and this is, um, he's talking about Srila Prabhupada, he says, our Guru Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada, our Guru Maharaj was kind upon us, so you are kind upon us. I find no difference at all in how you are blessing us. When I used to come every year to Mayapur, my whole purpose in coming was fulfilled when I would be in Srila Prabhupada's and his, Srila Prabhupada's association. So similarly now, I am feeling that as I have come here, that my purpose is being fulfilled whenever I am in your association. End of quote. On March 5th, uh, Rameshwar tells Sridhar, quote, I take it that Prabhupada is speaking to us through you. End of quote. So Sridhar continues to be the teacher and the guide of the ISKCON gurus. Yet all of this is kept as secret as possible from the rank and file ISKCON members. You know, some sannyasis knew what was going on. Some of the, you know, more senior devotees in Mayapur knew what was going on. But the word was to keep it quiet. Otherwise, why would anyone accept the ISKCON gurus if they could directly accept Sridhar? He was basically the, the de facto, he had become the de facto guru of the ISKCON gurus. So if a new member comes, why accept, you know, someone like Rameshwar or Jaipataka or any of them? Tamal, if Jaipataka, Tamal, Rameshwar, they're all going to Sridhar and taking his guidance and accepting him practically, they are saying themselves, or they're practically, they are accepting him on the same level as Srila Prabhupada. Well, if I'm a new devotee and I'm coming, why settle for someone like this one? I could go directly to Sridhar, who was a guru. He had his own, he's initiating his own disciples. So then I would become, I would become a, uh, um, a well, an equal with the gurus in ISKCON, basically. Anyway, so that was the problem. That was what they were trying to prevent. But they still wanted his guidance, and, his, and they were taking his guidance, but they didn't want their disciples to know or the new bhaktas to know, or it would, where would their position be? This is an audio only insert. I wanted to point out that if the GVC and ISKCON had remained on the Ritvik path that Srila Prabhupada wanted, then even if various GVC members were going to Sridhar and associating with him in this way, it would not actually affect Prabhupada's mission at all since the new devotees who would be coming would still have the direct path to become a direct disciple of Srila Prabhupada via the Ritvik representative system. So there would be no exodus to seek Sridhar's shelter as the new members would still be able to take Srila Prabhupada's shelter directly. Just see how all the problems that have faced the GBC over the years would have been no problem at all if they had just stayed on the Ritvik path. The Srila Prabhupada wanted us to stay on.